Hey friends, so I have a little simple DIY guys. I do love the color of this already. I think that if you wanna go ahead and use this color, I think it will still look beautiful. But I am gonna chalk paint it. And then um, a while back during the Halloween time, they had this shelf here and it was black so i just went ahead and spray painted it like a mint color and i want to sand it down and maybe touch up the little detail on them add some white to it so this is with one coat of paint and then i touched up the little detail details on this little shell so this is how it's turning out and i am touching it a bit with some black paint cut the little um, tulips just to see how they would look on here this is how it turned out I kind of want to put a little bow on here though just this is the twine that I have on hand Maybe a little pink bow would look even cuter. We'll see if I can find a pink bow or just leave it with this one, but I also wanna try and see if I could hang it up. So this is how it looks. It even looks cute just plain like that. But I wanted to give it a little something. I think you guys could add some something that says spring on there. You guys can add anything on there that would look kind of like spring. Okay, so this is how it is. And I don't know about you, but I love quick, easy, simple DIYs that just look so sweet. And I think I might make another one a different way though. How cute is that? It's totally up to you. I went ahead and added a little sign there that says tulips. Even though it looked good without it, I just wanted to add that in case you either don't hang it up or you can um, set it just like that. I think they would look really good either way all right guys so I just wanted to share with you this is one of the other plates that I made how adorable is this it was easy to make and I think it just so cute for the spring and I also went ahead and um, you can hang it up as well I think I should do all like the little flowers and add more. So I, I did the tulip one too. This is how they look side by side on the chalkboard. I just decided to put them here just to show you. I really like how they turned out.
guys and I also wanted to show you this little bathtub I got this a while back and I just painted it white but I'm gonna try to do a little black around the rim for the bathroom I think that would look cute and since I'm all into the flowers I'm thinking maybe either to make it the little tray for the bunnies or just add some more flowers like I've been doing like this one We'll see. So I also went ahead and just added the little sign right there. So I wanted to give this little tray some height and I was thinking maybe I'm making a little tray out of it. Not too sure just yet. The thought in here is to try to make a little shelf using that foam board right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to measure in here and um, we'll go from there and cut out the foam board. So this is what I came up with. All I did was get the foam board, glued it in the back as you can see. Now I did kind of cut this paper a little too short on the edge but it is what it is and what I want this is for like some storage for your towels in the bathroom so nothing too heavy but um I'm gonna hang it up and see how it turns out in my bathroom this is what I have right now and I want to show you that I did cut a little piece just about this, I don't really have the measure measurements. I kind of just been playing with it. And I am gonna stick it underneath to give me, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To give me more storage for like to add, hold on, to add um, different little compartments for your storage. Huh. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. So it can give me a little bit more um, room to put other things. And of course you could put another one on top, but I'm just gonna leave this one like this. Who knows, maybe I'll put another one on top. Here is my bin from the Dollar Tree and the foam board from the Dollar Tree and the four little composites to hang. Well, I wanna hang the bin up as well. And I want to put little storage in each thing and kind of, you know, so it can look like decor as well. So the reason why I kind of wanted more storage for my bathroom is because my bathroom downstairs, which is like the little guest room, is a little smaller. Um, but I wanted to show you that this is such a cute idea for some um, storage. And looking at the bucket, as my little DIY I can see that I already <laughs> put these little things in not matching with these two together so I gotta like turn it a little bit but it's already been glued on through the back so just to be cute I just added something that says here towels five cents but guys I think this looks so cute um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it in this bathroom since I already came up with these, these um, they're not really shelves, crates I should say. But I'm really liking how this looks. I think it looks so cute. Um, even maybe for your kitchen, I don't know. I'll think of something, but I think it's so cute. You can add soap, you can add um, brushes. It would even look so cute in your kid's bathroom with little like toys, rubber ducky, I don't know. Um, it's just a thought out there for some storage. And then you know that they have these uh, Dollar Tree gray bins that I'm loving. So I did add these over here. I also wanted to share with you, I got this little farmhouse um, to put more little towels. I got that at Burlington. And oh, I'm just loving these little um, bins here for more storage. 
and I just really like how that turned out as well. I painted and I think I'm gonna paint around black and maybe I can incorporate it in this little area. And I told you guys that I really liked this from Dollar Tree. I thought it was really cute. So I went ahead and added these letters because my lettering is really bad to this little cute little soap thing. And we'll see how I do around it. So here's my little bathtub, how it looks. And I think it came out really cute. And I just wanted to show you, when you guys do this, be sure you glue the both left and the right at the same side. That way it doesn't look um, this one up and this one down, if you guys know what I mean. But again, I did add these little towels here. This little <laughs> ticket that says label towels. So your towels can go in rolled up or like that. Just kind of like, uh, and you know, you'd figure that the things would fall out, but they don't because these things here, they're not glued on. You could even take these out it's just giving you like, um, what is it? Like a compartment. And I don't have this nailed on. I just have it right now with sticky tabs because I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here, but I'm really, really liking it. But I just, I, I can't put it in the side here because it's too much of an angle. But overall, I think it's really, really cute. It's, like I said, it's really snug in there. These are really snug. There's nothing falling out or any of that. Even if I put, um, you know, it just depends what you put down here, of course, because it's more down. But like I said, if you want to put toothbrushes, um, a brush, things like that, it doesn't roll out. I've already tried it. Again, um, the little Dollar Tree thing that I was gonna put in there, I wanna fill that up with um, some cotton, cotton balls or Q-tips or something like that, just to give you like an idea. Um, we got like hairspray here, we got a brush, some leftover, you know, toilet trees and I mean whatnot. But the reason why I was gonna come up with this instead of these crates here, but I think I'm gonna put this in my other bathroom and then again I wanted to share with you these Dollar Tree bins that are so functional and so cute and so pretty actually and this is a little bit more of storage you could put as well you could fill those up but I really like how this turned out I'm just loving how adorable this looks I think I even like it better than the crates to be honest with you the crates and let me show you um i got that powder room little sign from target dollar spot i got these from burlington and then this here also was from uh, burlington this little bathtub i did haul that from the thrift like a little thrift find and I just added greenery in there okay guys so I did another one <laughs> and of course now you know what I mean about they're leveled out so I went ahead and did want to show you the display of the little duckies towels and I don't know if you guys I've seen these from the Dollar Tree. They're like um, craft, like little craft bottles. They are the little plastic ones, so you don't have to worry about if they break in here. So I got the cotton swabs, the Q-tips, and I did put a little soap in there from the Dollar Tree. Added the little duckies just to show you that this is like really perfect for it. Not too heavy just for towels, something light. I think it looks really cute. Next to your bathtub or somewhere in your bathroom. 